Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Connie Douglas from Great Stamping with Connie. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. It is Thursday morning, which has me a little confused and possibly you too. Uh, Thursday morning at 10 o'clock and this is Connie's Craft Along. So this is sort of my uh, yeah, my floating activity. I try to do it on a Thursday, but the time changes. Thursday evening is often a good night uh, for crafting. I'm, I'm often crafting, not always with Connie's Craft Along, but a lot of weeks I'm available for that. But tonight I am traveling, I'm going south, <laughs> not that far, uh, about an hour and a half down to Stouffville, <laughs> which is uh, south of me, but that is to just save me a little bit of time tomorrow morning because tomorrow morning I am heading to Montreal for on stage Stampin' Up! conference and I'm so excited it's an in-person event they are uh, Stampin' Up! is just getting back to doing in-person events as are many of us for many things but it's an opportunity for demonstrators uh, to gather to share to learn to connect to swap um all sorts of things and then uh, stampin up does lots of uh, um, amazingly awesome things for us there's recognition events there's training there's crafting there's giveaways and it's it's just it's the most incredible time it is so good for the soul it is so good to connect with others uh, it's inspirational and and it's wonderful. So I'm really excited. Anyway, and that is why we're here Thursday morning. That's the long answer to why we are here now. So if you are here joining me, um, give me a hello. Let me know that you are uh, here live or let me know that you're watching the replay. If, uh, if you are watching the replay and if you are watching the replay um, on YouTube for sure um, or possibly Facebook, but either way, uh, I would love to have you hop over to my YouTube channel. Uh, the you will find the video there shortly after we finish. <laughs> um, the video will be there, and uh, I would love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and that way you see all sorts of uh, events and videos and things that I have done. So, uh, would love to have you do that. If you would just take a moment and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Alrighty, so um, I apologize. Oh my gosh, it has been well the last uh, almost two weeks now. Well, two weeks for sure, but certainly all last week and all through this week, and it will continue and all through next week. Um, crazy busy time for me. I've mentioned this before, <laughs> but yesterday uh, I was working all day. It was a productive day. It was an awesome day, but <laughs> it was last night. I didn't look at the time of my post, probably uh, 10 to 10 30 ish. And it's like, oh my gosh, I haven't posted the, you know, the supplies, the what to cut, the how to prep for Connie's craft along. And that's tomorrow morning. Ah! <laughs> and I'll be honest, my brain was, uh, it was done. <laughs> I had uh, in a church council meeting, I had another uh, business networking meeting. I'd been working all day. It was just, I was, I was pretty much done. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to tell people what they need and I'll do the picture in the morning. So hopefully you either saw the list or this morning you saw um, in my picture of the bits and pieces. And if you didn't, and you're just here watching, no worries. You can, you can cut later and you can um, craft, craft after. This video will be up on YouTube and you can go watch it from there. So uh, you know, it's all good. Alrighty, let's get to the fun stuff. So I am going to flip this down. There we go. I did mention in my uh, second Facebook post that I would be using the fitting florets collection again. And so that is a little bit of what you see here. Um, I will be using this stamp set the framed florets. And this is a stamp set that will continue uh, in the new January mini catalog or the, the mini catalog that goes live in January for customers. Uh, but this is an early release. So you can get this stamp set right now. You can get the 
this is a bundle. There are dies that go with this that have cut out some of these pieces. And uh, there is a whole collection that you can get if you wish. The whole collection includes uh, the Christmas sentiment stamp set that I used yesterday uh, when I did my coffee with a splash of inspiration. So if you saw that, you saw the Christmas stamp set framed, uh, framed and festive. And if you didn't, you will find it on YouTube. So you can go have a, a peek at that and watch that. Um, uh, but the collection also includes uh, designer series paper, which <laughs> looks like this. It's really hard to get all of it in into the screen here. But there's beautiful uh, flower pieces and some sprig pieces. This could be used for Christmas, and this could be used for Christmas. And then there's some flowers and the backs um, are not showing very well because some of these pieces are smaller because I've cut into them, but uh, there we go. Let's see if we can get these all in here. There we go. So some wonderful uh, more muted patterns on the back, some gingham in evening evergreen. So that's great for Christmas as well. Soft succulent, one of my one of my faves. So there you go. Lots of beautiful uh, papers and patterns in that package. And there are also some adhesive back gold swirls. And these, and I think I've tried to show this before and, and my camera never wants to focus when I'm trying to show these, does it? I don't know why it doesn't like to focus when you're closer. That looks okay, I think. Anyway, there are swirls carved into these uh, little metal embellishments. They are quite flat, so they're wonderful for cards. Uh, if you're mailing, you don't need to worry about them adding a lot of bulk. So that's, oh, that's lovely. I just sort of tossed the papers out the back and they kind of fell on the floor. Anyway, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> Okay, so for this morning, we need a card base, standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Uh, we have a piece of card stock that is five and a quarter by two and a quarter. I've actually cut, um, I cut a little sprig out of it because I could. <laughs> I'm not positive I'm gonna use it on my card, just a little extra embellishment, but I may, so uh, there we go. Another piece of cardstock that is five by two. Uh, some designer series paper strips, and I am using, uh, you know, paper from this uh, from the collection. So you can see, so I've got some flowers and I've got some pink. Uh, well, I've got yes, pink <laughs> because these are the flowers, and that's where the multicolors are. Okay, and then a piece of Oops, one more strip. A piece of basic white for your, and I had said in one of my uh, things, a fairly large sentiment. You want a good size uh, because this is going to be kind of the focal point. Okay. And then a frame for your sentiment. So I have used this. This is Evening Evergreen. And this is actually one of the dies. It doesn't cut two different colors, only one fell swoop. But I cut. Um, I cut this in Evening Evergreen and I also cut it in Basic White. So I'm mixing and matching. And this oval is larger than the other oval in the die collection. So you can have just plain layered ovals as well with the dies from this bundle. Uh, stamp, stamps, ink, embellishments, and as you said, all the usuals. Okay, so okay. the other thing that you're going to need, because we're going to try something, and I'll be honest, <laughs> I have never done this. <laughs> so this is, you know, a whole new ball game. Um, but we are going to do the twisted ribbon technique. You may have seen it, you may have heard of it. If you haven't, no worries. So I am using a piece of, this is the grid paper for our Stamparatus. 
you can use that. You can use our large grid paper. You can just use a plain piece of paper and a ruler to mark um, measurements. Or you can put little uh, pencil marks right on, right on your cardstock if you wish. So there's lots of ways that you can set this up. So I am just going to mark every half inch. Okay, so that is my pen works. I'm going to do that. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So half half an inch on this side, and you're going to mark it on both sides because we are going to go between uh, the lines. So we want to mark both sides so we have reference. Okay. And if you set this up once you've done one, you will have it for lots of crafting. You won't have to redo this every time because <laughs> we're obviously not using this part of our card. A little bit higher. I'm just going to extend the line right on that line. Okay, so once you have your um, your lines marked, they're ready. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I am going to put, if you have um, some temporary adhesive, that would be a good thing to use. I don't actually have any of that. So I'm going to use, I do have this double-sided tape, um, but I'm sort of putting it all over me so that it's sticky, but less sticky. Okay. So I want to hold my paper down, but I don't, <laughs> I don't want it to destroy my paper when I pick it up. <laughs> okay. And then we are going to bring in our strips of designer series paper. Which I have all over here. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to set the rest of this aside for a moment. And I am going to start with uh, the pink. And I'm going to use some liquid glue for this. So I'm just going to put a little bit. Of, this is a new bottle, so I have to be gentle. <laughs> be gentle. And then we are just going to cross over this corner. Okay. And we are going to line it up with the next one line down. Okay. So I've got this corner to one line down. Okay. And then we are going to just continue that down our paper. Okay. So now we are going to go from this. You don't need your glue right to the very end of your paper. You can always go back and tack some of it down a little bit more if it seems like it's too loose. But okay. it's occurring to me now that I never really watched the, uh, I've seen videos of this technique. <laughs> I've seen them started. I never actually watched them do this second row. So, you know, <laughs> that might be just a little bit of an adventure. Do I have this line in the wrong? Oh, no, it's in the right place. What is it? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> now I'm looking at that. It looks kind of odd, but I'm sure it, it looked normal when I was drawing my lines. Yes. Okay. So the numbers are just under the wrong line. All of a sudden I thought, should I be down here a bit? But I don't think so. <laughs> we are going to <laughs> continue on. We'll assume it will work. Time will tell. Right? <laughs> It'll be fine. Okay. So now I have, so I've used five. I said five or six, um, just because I think you might need six going this way. So I don't think this goes. Here, here, here. <laughs> oh, 
my goodness. Yes, well, let's just let's just think this through. So we want these to connect to these. Okay, so there, it's got to go like that. I'm going to start here because I can see where this one's supposed to go. You know, you have heard me say from time to time that I'd love to have you join me on this crafting adventure. And uh, yeah, some days, some days it really is an adventure, isn't it? It's all good. So this is how we learn, though, right? And, you know, the best part of crafting with friends is that we can learn together. Oopsie. I think this one should have been just a smidge. So if we go left in that, that glue, hopefully a little tiny bit. Is my head going? No, I don't think my head's getting into the camera, is it? I should move this all up just a little bit, shouldn't I? Is that a little bit better? So what we are doing is creating a, a zigzag to look like a ribbon twist. And that, I guess, is why they call it twisted ribbon technique. And uh, so now I believe they had one. Yes, they want one going up to the very top. If you didn't do these last edge ones, I guess it would just look like a border. But I'm going to go from here up to. I guess it would be there. Wouldn't it? Now I have glue that's going to end up like paper for that one. And I suppose I could do this as well. Um, okay, let's see if I can do it. I may need to put a little more glue in some places like that. But there we go. Now, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, this isn't too stuck to my paper. So I'm going to get it off. So my adhesive was not too stuck. Some of my uh, designer series paper was a little bit stuck, but there we go. We got it off. Uh, silicone mat comes in handy at this point. If we could draw in here, then we would have all of that. Oh, look, and that tape just slipped right off. So that's perfect. Okay, so now I'm just going to give this a a really nice squish and because I have been doing all sorts of things in all sorts of places. My paper snips were not here, but I said we're all good. So now you're just going to trim your edges. So from the back it is really easy to see where your cardstock is to know where to trim. When you're doing stuff like this, it, you can get glue on your paper snips, and <laughs> that's why we need to clean our paper snips from time to time. Get rid of that. Get rid of everything that is somewhat glue filled. So we don't end up. It's kind of like the open ink bottle, isn't it? Or ink pad. Get rid of it before you lean in it. Just take that pretty big bit off. Oops. Okay, so now these pieces, because they are small, are starting to flick. <laughs> we'll have to retrieve some of those later. Okay. And now, hopefully, hopefully it all makes sense. Are we ready for the big reveal? Ta-da! Does it look like I probably shouldn't have used the pink background. I should have had a, a different color. I think you would have noticed the pink a little bit more. It's just a little bit lost in there, but we will soldier on. Okay, where's the rest of my 
pieces. Here we go. So now I have my oval. I need to stamp a sentiment. So I have pulled the probably won't be able to see this one too well because it's not uh, <laughs> it's quite new I have used it but I guess I used it on a something other than reds or pink because it's not stained at all yet wishes for a beautiful birthday so that's what we're going to use and I pulled out polished pink ink it's going to be a very pink color this will obviously be uh, <laughs> hope you like pink because there will be lots of pink in this. Now see, I could put, if I put this, I'm going to put this up top and then I could just add a flower at the bottom, couldn't I? Well, I hope I have this straight. <laughs> I wasn't even really paying attention to that part of things. Uh, but it looks pretty good. Alrighty. Okay, I'm just going to give this a scrub. And now you mm, still can't see it too well. It's not too stained because that was pink, not red. But uh, anyway, you can see it right there. <laughs> and I think that I, think I have enough room to add. No, this is this is quite large. Okay. Oh dear. I have these stamps out. Hmm. One moment. Talk amongst yourselves. They were close, but I had this out for some other uh, another card that I was working on. So maybe just one flower down the bottom here, and I'm going to use balmy blue to pick up on some of this. Is that going to be too much with the green? I wonder. What do you think? Hello, Lorna. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, you can help me here. So, uh, <laughs> here's what we're doing. Let me close this up for a moment so I don't lean in it. <laughs> I have, this is the twisted ribbon technique that we have done. I have done for my very first time <laughs> and it worked out. So I'm very happy right now. Uh, okay, so we have a polished pink card base and then I'm going to layer on this evening evergreen and this will go on to the top of that. And then we will have our frame. It's quite a large frame, isn't it? Okay, so we will have our frame and our Wishes for a happy birthday. And I was thinking of adding a flower image on the bottom here, and I was going to do it in balmy blue. But you don't actually see a whole lot of balmy blue on there, so I'm not sure that's a good plan. And I don't know that I want, maybe, okay, maybe here's what we'll do. Maybe I will use this sprig. <laughs> uh, This is evening evergreen. I could put that just across the bottom, like that perhaps, or curving down, maybe curving down. Oh, maybe, maybe, kind of like that. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> well, thanks, Lorna. Stunning. Hello. <laughs> I'll be nice when your <laughs> your first try at something goes so well. Uh, okay, so I think I'm going to use that sprig somehow or other. So I'm going to skip the stamp. Uh, <laughs> probably should have had my sentiment even just a little bit higher, but we'll know for next time. Okay, I'm going to put this onto. Oh, huh. <laughs> need to refill. <laughs> okay, where is my. Oh, here we go. I suppose I could always use liquid glue, but. I'm going to put this onto my card. Um, so because I have put this in the middle, I'm going to bring, and I don't, you like the spray. Okay, good. I think I'm going to use it. We'll see when we get to that point. But um, okay. 
go. So I do have a little bit of sticky there, but it's okay. The silicone mount is down. Now, uh, I think I'm going to put this on flat because I'm going to pop up some other bits. And because, uh, to be honest, this is all new. <laughs> you know, nothing like uh, crafting on the fly, no dry run. But, you know me, that's not uh, not necessarily anything new, is it? Okay, so there we go. That is ready. And then I am just going to use some liquid glue on this. Now, this piece is quite, quite large. I think I'm going to, can I get it? If I center it here, it's over. But I think that will work. I think I'm going to center this. Maybe I will center it in the, the gap. And if I can pick it up again. So, again, back to the uh, silicone mat, just to be so I don't make a big mess with my glue, because I'm just going to smear a little bit of glue, just very, very thin over this. And when you're doing this, you just want to be careful not to let it move, because I am getting glue onto my silicone mat. But as long as I don't, uh, don't let this piece move, it will just be in the gaps. So there we go. So there's the glue, but it's uh, not on, on my piece on the front. Okay. So I think I'm going to put this in the middle of this. Now I have glue everywhere. <laughs> okay, there we go. Take that with the press. Put the lid on the glue so we don't uh, don't make a big mess with that. And now I am going to pop up this. Hmm. I'll be brave and put that on afterwards. <laughs> okay, I'll be brave. I will be brave. We'll do four, just to be, just to be very dimensional about it. Oh. So, not very dimensional. Looks a little bit. What did I do? Did I? Oh, it's, I think we're okay. All righty. Let's get this onto here, and then I can do the sprig right across the bottom. I think that will work. I hope. <laughs> we will see in a moment. So where, so this and this, I don't need a whole lot of glue and not right off the very edge. So again, I'm just kind of smearing a little, little thin bit of glue on here. Because this is so sticky, it really doesn't take a whole lot of glue to hold these things in place. It's, as you know, if you use this liquid glue, it is a marvelous adhesive. Okay, so maybe just, just like that. There we go. Bring this back, and then we have our beautiful uh, gold swirls. These are, uh, they're all one size, so you don't have, don't have size choices, but that's okay. They're beautiful, so, <laughs> so it's all good. Put on the top. Okay. Too many choices, maybe just one. A little more centered, I'll stick that back down there. Move this guy over a little bit. Is it centered? But now it's well, I think it's totally centered, so I think we're okay. Maybe just one. Maybe right there. Okay, look at that. <laughs> Twisted ribbon. Success. <laughs> How are we doing for time? 
10 30. do i have time to do one more i did cut for another one uh because what i wanted to do was show it to you oh i was going to show it to you uh landscape it's occurring to me now that um oh i can make it work because i didn't i didn't cut a, a frame for this piece so okay let's just start at it <laughs> Yes, again, you know, crafting on the fly, right? So this time I have balmy blue and I have it to go landscape. Still have evening evergreen and balmy blue for this piece. Whoops, I made a piece of tape under there. I have the white oval and I have a sprig again. And then I have these strips. So I have some with lots of blue. Uh, Night of Navy and Balmy Blue, and I have some with blue and green and evening evergreen flowers. Okay, so let's get another piece of this tape here. And again, I am just uh, putting it down on my skin to take away some of the some of the stick, so it's not super sticky. Uh, just enough to hold it in place while we are crafting. Uh, ribbon. <laughs> okay, and I think I will start with the dark paper. So, uh, Lauren, I'm not sure if you saw the beginning. I have used a piece of graph paper and I have marked half inch increments on both sides. Okay, I'm these out of the way, sticking those on. And then I am just uh, going from, <laughs> where's my first one? <laughs> so I'm going from this corner to the top of this mark. And we're going to go down with all of our dark pieces first. Moving down a whole stage each time. This is, uh, I think, this is one of those techniques that once you get going on it, you just want to try. You could do this with different colored uh, cardstock or embossed cardstock. Oops, that's way off. Yes, Lorna, you are correct. <coughs> Excuse me. Lorna says it's a great way to use up <laughs> bits. It is. <laughs> we are always looking for wonderful and creative ways to use up our our little leftover edges because we always have lots and we never want to throw them away <laughs> because they're good pieces of paper look they're good pieces of paper i could use those <laughs> so this way um, we have a way to use them and to make something beautiful so i should probably uh, do some more using up bits soon shouldn't i it's a great uh, it's a great tutorial a great class a great <laughs> sharing ideas on how to use up bits maybe we'll do that so in one of the upcoming weeks sort of uh, putting some of these patterns where you would see certain things based on how we did the last one. But this one I'm going to turn sideways, so I'm not quite sure if everything's going to be different, but that's okay. There's little patterns you will see sticking out no matter which direction you're going. So once you kind of have the hang of this, it goes quite quickly. The first one was, uh, that was my learning curve piece, right? <laughs> 
Now, this one I want to put the glue on this side mostly because the rest is going to get cut off. And this one will be the opposite piece. Put my glue on this side. There we go. Okay, put the lid on that. Let's get this off of here. So if you don't have a temporary adhesive, you can use any of your double-sided tape. Just put it on your, on your the back of your hand, or your skin, or your fingers, or something a few times, and that will take a good portion of the sticky away, and then you saw it, it didn't, uh, it hasn't damaged my cardstock or anything, so. And then we just trim off these extra bits, oops, into my cardstock just a tiny bit. And we make a big mess on our table. Proves we've been crafting and working and busy and <laughs> all those things. And clearly there's a bit of glue on there <laughs> sticking to my paper snips. If you are looking for an awesome uh, paper snips, these are the Stampin' Up! paper snips and they are beautiful. I have had mine for years and years and years. They are still nice and sharp. They have a very comfortable hand hold. And uh, had someone over doing some crafting the other morning, and she had she had some. They were not stamping up, and she put mine, and she goes, "Oh my gosh, these are so comfortable compared to mine." So uh, that was that was a great endorsement. Something I didn't really have never really thought about because I've been using these for so many years, and these are. These are the only ones that I have in my craft studio, so that's what I use. And I, think I need to change this out. There's getting to be a lot of sticky bits on that, but we'll be okay for today. So there you go. There's a different one. Oh, I like that one too. So let's bring in our card base. Anyway, the uh, Stampin' Up! Paper Snips. They're uh, they're awesome. So if you're looking for some new paper snips or to, to add an extra pair to your craft studio, because uh, Lord knows we, uh, they, you know, sometimes they wander, right? Do your paper snips wander? <laughs> Mine do. I think they have these little parties at night sometimes. And I come down in the morning and it's like, where are those paper snips? I'm sure I left them right here. Well, of course I did, but, ooh. Okay, so now we have some glue on here. So I'm... It's kind of dry, but uh, anyway, I just kind of rub a little bit of that off on my fingers. But flip it over. Okay. Get this thing onto here. Oh, it's not straight. <laughs> Quick, pull it up. Try that once again. Sometimes on camera, looking at things on a bit of an angle. So don't realize until after you have it down that it's not the way you really want it. Okay, I think we're good there. Now I have, sorry, I'm just trying to get some of the sticky bits off of here. So for this one, oh, let's uh, need a sentiment, don't we, before we get on to assembly. So I think I'm going to use the same sentiment. I have uh, with my Bonnie Blue Eco. I have Bonnie Blue Ink. I was going to use it before, but I didn't. Okay, here we go. Bonnie Blue, I'm going to use the same sentiment, and then I think we will put the sprig on the bottom again. I kind of like the way that worked out. Or maybe we should put the sprig on the top. This is going to be at the bottom. So maybe we'll do... Okay, I'm going to put my sentiment towards the bottom this time. Just to be different, right?
dark blue looks better than the light pink. Yes, I agree. Um, yeah, and the pink is nice. Uh, but you're right. The pink, the pink would have worked really well if I had used a different color background. Uh, maybe I should have used balmy blue on the whole. I don't know. A different color would have worked better. You would have uh, the pink would have shown up more. So, note to self: don't put uh, tone on tone, color on color, <laughs> when you're doing this. See, live and learn, right? <laughs> okay, so there is our sentiment, and now we are ready to put this together. So for this one, because it's ooh, <laughs> it's not really put together, it's not folded quite right. Bring back my old folder and fix that. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so this time I am going to put this along the bottom. Like that. And probably in the middle. And spread around the top. It's really different without the uh, the frame around it. But I think it'll be okay. We'll let it go. I'll add embellishments. Maybe I should put this to one side. And then I can put some embellishments in there. Yeah, I don't know that I like it in the middle. It looks a little bit like a like an egg sitting up or something. Although it looks okay on camera, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know how it looks to you. It looks a little perhaps a little funny. Let me move my fingers and take a peek. Oh, it does uh does work though you see there versus off to the edge a little. Huh. Well, it could probably go either way. Maybe I'll do it off to the side, just uh, just because I need to make a decision. And if someone feels like it should be centered, uh, speak now or uh, it's going down the edge. How's that? Start with this on the side. Okay. Okay. Uh, with bling at the top. Yes, that was my thought too, Lorna, that uh, then we'll put some bling in that uh, sort of open area because uh, we need bling and, and then we will use more than one, more than one bling. We'll have three blings. <laughs> we'll put a few blings in there. Okay. And I'm going to pop this up again. Actually, I guess I could put, uh, I could put this on now because I think I'm going to do... Well, we'll be safe. <laughs> Doesn't really matter which order I do it in. I can see where I'm going with it, but I'll just put this down. And then I'll get out the glue bottle again. Hold on. Okay. These dimensionals seem super sticky this morning. Not sure why. <laughs> maybe just me. Maybe my fingers are sticky. Okay, now I'm not going to go right to the edge, but I will go off center. And some glue for this guy. I should see where I don't want glue, shouldn't I? Okay, so if this is going to go. Kind of like that. So really, it's mostly just this one edge leads out the, the top leaning down. I don't see if it is going to be on my card or on the paper. So it's all going to be on the card. <laughs> Come on, baby. Hold on. Okay, that should, that should be more than enough to hold it in place. Okay. 
There we go. And, of course, <laughs> some bling. And we got use this poor guy that didn't get invited to the play last time. I'll put him right in the middle there because I'm thinking I'm going to go in the in a row. There. That's what I think. Kind of works. So there is the twisted ribbon technique. Something different. <laughs> something new, maybe, for you. Certainly something new for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, until this morning, I had, uh, I had never done that. So let me come back here. There we go. So. Those are the cards for today. Um, if you didn't craft along because somebody was very late telling people what to cut and what to prepare, um, give it a try. It's, I think it's one of those things that becomes a little bit addictive. You know, the first one you're sort of, what do I do? How do I do? Is this gonna work? And all that sort of thing. But once you put it together and you see that it does work and you see how neat it is, it's lovely. Um, you kind of want to do more different colors, different patterns, different orientations, and uh, something fun, something a little bit different, something new. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love uh, having people join me on this crafting adventure, and today it was a little bit of an adventure. <laughs> Often is, isn't it? Well, that's the fun, anyway. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I will be off to Montreal and on stage later today. Uh, so have an awesome weekend and we will see you all next week. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.